आई एम योगेश सपकाले डेप्यूटी एडिटर ऑफ मनी लाइफ एंड वेलकम एवरी वन टू दिस टॉक बाय मिस्टर शेखर नवरे ऑन न्यूरो लिंग्विस्टिक प्रोग्रामिंग मे आई रिक्वेस्ट मिस्टर देवाशीष बासू एडिटर एंड फाउंडर ऑफ फाउंडर पब्लिशर ऑफ मनी लाइफ टू वेलकम मिस्टर नवरे नाउ अ फ्यू वर्ड्स अबाउट मिस्टर शेखर नवरे मिस्टर नवरे इज अ वेल नोन एक्टर डिरेक्टर एंड प्रोड्यूसर मिस्टर नवरे अ वेल नोन पर्सनैलिटी इन मराठी थिएटर्स एंड फिल्म सर्किट्स himself uses nlp techniques to get the best out of his performances he has also been training people from different walks of life for over 12 years including athletes and sports persons mr navre is a master practitioner of neuro linguistic programming and an analytical hypnotherapist he has played lead roles in and as oedipus rex in the famous greek tragedy he also acted at pozo in the famous play waiting for godo along with tom alter and received excellent reviews for his performance besides this mr navre has acted as a leper in the play and they lived happily ever and received the more than 100 tv programs under several famous directors such as br chopra ravi chopra basu chatterjee and vijay anand thank you and without further ado may i now hand it over to mr navre how do i begin How do Hindi films begin? With some music and incident, some incident which is which leads to the story. There is no incident here, but there is story here. Every time a human being does something. it produces various results the results are good bad or mixed sometimes accordingly people tend to sulk or tend to be happy according to the results that they get but there has been no known technology known technique to analyze their performance and make them understand what went wrong or where they were right nlp is such a technique where every time you perform that performance can be analyzed into smaller chunks and then you can choose a chunk improve on that chunk and overall improve your performance that is what nlp is used for what is the full form of nlp n is for neuro l is for linguistic p is for programming every time we do anything we experience you know and the experience involves our neurology that is why it is neuro our main way of communication to the world and even to ourselves is a language that is why it is linguistic and programming is something that we constantly keep doing in our minds when we want to attain a particular result we plan for it that is what programming is so this is in totality is neuro linguistic programming so every time a person is good in something you can choose that model and analyze his performance into smaller chunks and accordingly you can copy that to become equally good that is why nlp is used to to improve your performances in every single field that is possible secondly nlp is used just to to bring confidence into you how since it involves neurology it involves memory 
we have undergone so many experiences in our life some are good some are bad so out of the good experiences everything every single incident is stored in our memory so we recollect that particular incident and get to understand what we did at that time whereby we excelled at that time once you understand that you can repeat it that means every time you want to get into a good performance today you can remember whatever good performance you have done in the past and you can create similar mental state inside you and deal with the present situation to produce good results thirdly it can be used for so many other things like marketing and sales and other things because uh, human beings constantly keep communicating through their actions they through they can communicate through their language as well as their actions so every time any see, see some of the people are sitting like this so they you know they have decided that the best way to sit when i want to understand a particular thing is this way that is their communication their instruction to themselves some are not sitting like uh, devashish so each person has a different way of pre presenting himself every time he wants to understand things that means every time you want to uh, communicate with the world subconsciously your body is acting and changing its postures constantly so each time you change a posture it signifies a different thought in your mind perhaps so in a discussion we always see two three people are sitting together and one person changes his posture somehow in a few seconds in a few moments the other two also change their postures this keeps happening constantly as if it's orchestrated movements as if it is choreographed that is called as mirroring human beings constantly keep mirroring somebody else with whom they want to communicate to the fullest so these are the basic steps of nlp which make you and help you to understand human excellence and then you can copy it there is another factor called timeline every time we remember something like suppose uh, I, i am asked to remember uh, an incident where i was in third standard and uh, i had to recite some poem so i would close my eyes and remember third standard i would place it somewhere third standard matlab it has to be here and suppose i am asked to remember something in that happened in when i was in 10th uh, or one second closer and place it somewhere timeline. timeline that is a timeline so this is a factor which constantly helps you in dealing with your situations in life these are timelines so these are the basic tools of nlp which help you in understanding things now once i want to once uh, these tools are available then i want to analyze people suppose uh, i find people who are well dressed that means those people are careful about their appearance so every time they go for a meeting or something they will 10 times check in the mirror whether their appearance is good but there are certain people who don't care about their appearance they say apna jagah pe apna kapda hai na bas ho gaya what else you need but they will be very um, expressive with their words and some of them will be in a way uh, soft spoken and you know they they constantly take a feel of a situation these are the basic three types of people first person who keeps constantly going to the mirror and checking his appearance 
is a visual person. Second person who, who speaks in a very uh, confident and rhythmic manner but doesn't bother about his clothes so much may be an auditory person. And the third person who, who speaks in a soft voice and takes the feel of things may be a kinesthetic person. These are three basic patterns of personalities. So now you can differentiate between people using these things and then you can mirror them. So every time you want to communicate, you have so many tools. Mirroring and knowing people by their appearance and their way of speech and their uh, tone of their voice. How to distinguish and how to match that. Normally people who are in tune with each other will be matching in at least most of the things that I mentioned. Suppose uh, I find a, a woman who is very well dressed and neat. Normally her husband will be equally well dressed and neat. If they are not there like that, then there will be a problem for the couple. So every time husband gets her a, a Diwali gift, husband gives her a sari. And suppose she is not a visual person. She would say, yes, ye kya hai? Sari ngulaya? He said, uh, what do you mean? Here? You will look beautiful in this sari. Because the husband thinks of visual. You will look beautiful in this sari. That is why I brought it. Maine kitni baar kaha hai? Sari se mujhe kuch kujhe ne hota hai. That means he, she being an auditory person is not interested in the visual. There is a mismatch. Similar situations keep happening in our life where we create mismatches merely by not understanding the other person's way of thinking. Why this happens? Because we have based five senses that we use to communicate. Visual, auditory, kinesthetic, olfactory and gustatory. So all these five senses together make us communicate with the world. Once there is a mismatch between what we look at the world, the way we look at the world and the way somebody else looks at the world, then there is miscommunication. Once there is miscommunication, then there is uh, there are so many problems. Like in, in business, perhaps the deal doesn't, doesn't go through or in so many family situations, there is a quarrel, whatever. So that means every time you want to understand a person by merely by glancing at him, you should be able to place what kind of thinking he has. Means what? Of the five senses that I mentioned, he must be giving priority to certain senses. He may not be giving the first number to visual sense. He may be more of an auditory person. So then he will say, ye bahut well dressed aata hai, lekin isko kuch malum nahi yaar. Sir, dress se kya hota hai? That means he is not impressed by the dress. But somebody who is visual enough and who is, uh, matlab, who, who looks at a person and says, oh, this person has come well dressed. That means he must be good at his subject. How do you decide? It's my choice to choose visual as the first priority. But it's somebody else's choice to choose auditory as the first priority. So naturally, one has to look at it, one has to understand it. Now second step, what happens is the person starts talking. Usually a visual person, when he starts talking, Whose, whose priority list has number one as a visual, will talk in a very high pitch and very fast. That kind of a speed he will use while talking. Somebody who is auditory will be very keen on, on stressing particular words 
and particular way of speaking because his auditory sense has to be satisfied the first so he will just put the sentence in a very mannered rhythmic way nay i am telling you this is how it is and maine usko bola hai wo samjhega and he will talk in a very voluminous way loud voluminous way somebody who is kinesthetic will take the feel of things and will be very soft spoken and he will say ha ah, let me think about it wo oh, kya hai wo <laughs> oh, kya hai <laughs> मुझे ऐसा लगता नहीं है कि दिस इज पॉसिबल फिर भी देखते हैं नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज द चॉइस ऑफ वर्ड्स अ विजुअल पर्सन विल ऑलवेज यूज वर्ड्स और वर्ब्स विच सिग्निफाई अ विजुअल तो आर्ग्यू करते हैं तो कोई आदमी बोलते कंट यू सी What I'm saying? But you are saying something. How do I see it? <laughs> But that person is visual. Oh, the can't you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so the other person is auditory. He says, "No, I can't see what you're saying." Ah. <laughs> 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 उल्टा पॉसिबल है कितनी बार तुम्हें बोला था सुना नहीं तुमने आई डोंट रिकलेक्ट आई डोंट आई जस्ट डोंट रिमेंबर यू सेइंग दैट आई एम ट्राइंग टू रिमेंबर इट आई जस्ट डोंट एंड आई एम नॉट गेटिंग आई एम नॉट रिमेम रिमेंबरिंग द सिचुएशन वेयर यू सेड दैट वेन डिड यू से इट तभी बोला था मैंने बाहर जाते हुए बोला था हॉल में हॉल में इज लुकिंग एट द विजुअल हॉल में नो आई डोंट रिकलेक्ट हॉल में तो तुमने नहीं बोला था एक्चुअली व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इज ही इज ट्राइंग टू टू रिलेटेड टू द विजुअल एंड इज नॉट गेटिंग द लिप मूवमेंट इन दैट विजुअल एंड ही इज से नहीं नहीं तुमने नहीं बोला था मतलब देर इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट वे ऑफ मैचिंग एंड मिस मैचिंग गोइंग ऑन इन दिस वर्ल्ड थ्रू थ्रू एन एल पी यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड दैट इज वाई यू इंप्रूव स्टेप एवरी टाइम यू डू दैट नाउ देर आर मेनी सिचुएशन वेर यू आर सपोज टू परफॉर्म टू योर बेस्ट एंड हैविंग डन ऑल दिस having com communicated with the world successfully you are you have reached a particular position where you are supposed to perform now like let us say suppose sachin tendulkar spoke to his coach and learned and all this and that and he went to the match now he is supposed to perform what does he do how does he translate all this into a performance because whatever you may talk and how so many theories you may put in front of me ultimately what is going to matter is do i perform so then how do i perform after knowing all this after knowing nlp after understanding people how do i translate that knowledge into performance for that one has to have an inner eye and an inner voice and an inner feeling which one can use to egg himself on suppose sachin tendulkar is a visual person what he will do is at the venue of the match he may sit quietly close his eyes and try to visualize the venue the ground 
and then we will try to visualize that he is batting correctly and that he is scoring runs and once again try to visualize every single situation that he may face like he could be bowling a, uh, a fast scope bowler could be bowling and he would visualize that a spinner would be bowling would visualize that and all such things so what happens is every time you visualize something you are instructing your own body to reach that particular result how do you do that because there is something in our brain called reticular activating system this reticular activating system every time you provide a picture to that system it takes it as a as a target it starts thinking that this is where i am supposed to reach so every time i close my eyes and say uh, look at myself performing and i see i'm batting correctly and i'm hitting very good strokes i'm getting runs the the ras the reticular activating system is getting this particular signal that i am supposed rather the, the the person is supposed to reach this target so what happens is the reticular activating system automatically or puts all its mental resources into action to reach a particular target whatever target you provide to that person now what is happening is if a person is visual he may visualize and tell uh, himself through the visuals that he is supposed to reach a particular target if a person is auditory he may tell himself me changla khelto hai and me strokes marto hai i am scoring runs i am hitting very good boundaries he is using words and voice so a, a visual a auditory person will instruct himself with the use of voice internal voice that is and words and the similar thing will happen his reticular activating system will get activated and it will instruct all its mental sources to reach that target so every time as i go to the venue of the match and i instruct myself through visual and auditory uh, modes that means my body is preparing itself to reach a particular target state what is a state a state is a is a a situation where all your resources excel to produce a particular result that means that time you call yourself to be in a state i am in a state when i have scored a century all my nervous uh, neuro energy is producing a particular result and i am in that state so every time you want to reproduce that you get into a state like i said previously every time use your memory to create a state and then get into that state to produce a result today this you can do by visualizing by instructing yourself with words and by feeling many times you get the feelings merely by listening to a song mere yaar i remember when i scored a century us waqt main ghar se nikla and i was hearing i uh, ganpati ji aarti so every time i want to score a century then i am tended to listen to ganpati ji aarti while starting from the home to get in the state that means producing the same uh, situation same surroundings same uh, mental uh, inputs to produce a particular result that is how you get into a state now nlp also helps you in getting into a state 
so naturally you are able to produce good results repeatedly because you get into a state now there is one thing more to this that is suppose i see sachin tendulkar bat and i feel i should be able to do it i can be equally good but if i keep practicing normally it will take years to produce that result but if i use only the tools that he uses then i may produce the result much faster for the simple reason that whatever his labor that he put in to arrive to a particular tool so many years he must have put in to arrive to a particular tool of use i don't have to do that i get it ready made so i start using those mental tools and i produce results i'm not talking about the bat what make and all no i'm talking about the mental tools if you can match his mental tools you will produce the same results in mahabharat we had one story of ekalavya does everyone know in this story there was an a uh, uh, child who wanted to learn archery and who you know got dronacharya statue and in front of it he tried to learn it what he was doing he was trying to get the mental tools of that person once you acquire mental tools merely by thinking so many times by understanding by looking at somebody and watching him and then trying to understand what he must be thinking at that point of time concentrate only concentrate only on on those things and you will understand his mental tools now copy them don't use anything else but those tools and you will produce the same results that is why through nlp you can match human excellence so if we know somebody from our office somebody from our business who is far ahead in his performance you just understand his mental tools and copy them and you will achieve equal amount of success or perhaps more even once you know the mental tools you will you can surpass that person or surpass those results so through nlp so many things are possible nlp can be used in even even in stage and such things which i have been using because every time you want to understand an emotion and want to produce a particular result by using your body naturally nlp helps me because our neurology produces specific postures from our body at the time of having specific thoughts or emotions it's a human nature somebody who who sits with shrunk shoulders and looking down and all you immediately understand he must be feeling sad that person may be an american a british or whoever the neurology with that particular physique is producing the exact emotion by using the same postures so constantly you can use postures to change your mental state suppose i can uh, i see somebody who is sad and was sitting like this with you know sunken uh, looking down and sunken shoulders and all i'll just go and talk to him i won't sit in front of him because what will happen is if i sit in front of him then he will look only this much so i will go nearer to him so as to look up when he looks at me what happened is what what happened is 
every time you look up, you automatically tend to lift your spirits. So if you see somebody in a sad or sorrowful state, don't sit across and talk to him. Go closer to him. Make him look up. Why this is happening? Because every time a, a neurology forces the body to be used to look up, it will produce a particular emotion. Because the emotion produces that particular posture. So vice versa is also true. Emotion produces a particular posture. So the posture will produce the emotion. That means every time throughout our life, we can use NLP even this way to master emotions which are unwanted merely by changing our postures. Their auditory, how do you recognize an auditory person? Normally, an auditory person, when listening to somebody, will sit like this. Uh -huh. Bolo, bolo. Uh -huh. Correct. What he is doing is giving importance to its, his auditory sense. He may not, he may look at the, some books or something, but he is listening to me. auditory, visual, straight look. Kinesthetic, every time you talk to him, he will look down and up, down and up, down and up. He has to refer to his talk of emotions every time. <laughs> whatever experiences he has had and whatever uh, mental states that those experiences have put him in. He has to refer to that constantly. So that is why so see constantly something keeps happening inside you which makes you use the technique and yet you are not using it knowingly we have not understood it that is why we have not analyzed it and that is why we are not using it knowingly. Suppose I want to change my beliefs. So what I will do? I have this belief that every morning the sun rises. It's a firm belief and there is not going to be changed. There is no likelihood of it changing. Because there is no likelihood of sun not rising. Isn't it? So it's a firm belief. So now what I'll do is, I'll close my eyes and look at this belief. And I place it somewhere in my timeline. I see, ha, huh, sunrise to hota hai. I can see it, the sun rising. Every time I am mentioned that, I see the picture in my head in a particular way, at a particular place in my timeline. And I refer to it, ha, correct. Hai. My belief is correct here. Sun to har roj nikalte hai. Aisa kuch nahi hai. Ha, correct. Hai. Yeah. So that means, the, the belief is very firm. Now I want something, I want to believe in something about which I am not sure. Like, Uh, will a person respond positively to my particular request? I am not sure. Though normally that person has responded positively, I am not sure this time whether he may respond to me positively or not. So when I look, close my eyes and place that particular feeling, I see it here. Ah, is a thoda shaky a picture. I am not sure what result this will produce. Now mentally what I am, what I have to do? I have to make this picture 
pick it up and put it in the place where I have a very firm belief. Because sun is going to rise every day. There is no doubt. So then why am I creating a particular doubt in a particular situation? Take that picture and put it there and see it. You will immediately change your thinking about the situation. You will immediately feel it inside you. change He will come back to me. 100% positive. How does it happen? Because simply because our mental state changes the moment we place it in the right timeline at the right place. And then by using this again, you can produce so many results. Make yourself certain. What do you mean by certain? Aag ban ke dekha ha. Oh, suraj nikla hai. Red. Dham mesa hai. Shining red hai. Or oh, I can see all the colors. Detailed. Of the picture. Now I put this picture there. And again I do the same things. I see it. You know, big way. See all the details, see all the colors, every single detail, I match it with this picture. These are called as sub-modalities of a thing. The sub-modalities of a particular picture and the sub-modalities of another picture. Sub-modalities means various smaller qualities that are involved in a particular picture, the lines, the darkness, the shade, the brightness, you know, the tone and all that. All those details of a picture, mental picture, which I have and about which I am sure, are giving me, me a very, a very vivid and uh, correct impression. Whereas, the picture of a situation where I am not sure is hazy. The lines are not clear. So what I do is make shift that picture into a place where I can see the lines clearly and the colors brightly and the situation, uh, the, 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 the whole details correctly. This is a mental tool that we use to improve once again a situation which about which we are not sure, about which we, 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 we cannot uh, ascertain a result. So once again what we are doing is reticular activating system has been provided with a picture. Produce this result and it will start using its resources to attain that result. So you have to train for it. Yeah, you have to train for it. I mean, all these tools are taught in the NLP courses. These various tools and how do you use them? It's a, NLP is not a science, not a, a technology where you, merely by knowing about it, you can master it. You can't. You have to experience it. Why? For a simple reason, that those are mental tools. Many times what happens is, uh, suppose you are, sub, uh, you are told in a particular experiment to experiment to, to visualize things. You don't know how to visualize. You say, I don't get visual there. Kya karunga main? So, main yo karne sakta exercise. Then what do I do? So, you have to naturally learn how to go about it. Know yourself, know your type and accordingly choose your, choose your instructions to yourself. There is another area where NLP can be used. That is 
while preparing for exams and all. Naturally, you mug up everything and you solve the papers. But there is another way of doing things. Like, suppose uh, you know a person who is bright and who has been using, uh, not knowingly but unknowingly, NLP techniques, whereby he is producing results. So, copy that person. How does he do it? So, instead of putting in too much of an effort and too much of a labor, you can choose the way you handle it merely by learning NLP techniques, how you will do it and you can produce better results. There was a situation in, uh, I was training uh, an Air India cricket team and I had one bowler in my team who was not producing results. And naturally, the, the, the management was upset about it. Since the person was on contract, the cricketer was on contract, they wanted the results. They said, the contract is not paise ka diya hai. He's not getting any wickets and all. So, how, how do you produce the results? So, I was told to handle this situation. Through NLP, of course, I did it. But NLP means so many funny things, the way it is used. With particular this, this cricketer, when I talked to him and tried to explain, he said, No, yaar, sir, kya bolu main? Main sab kuch karta hu, mere paas luck nahi hai. Sab kuch karta hu, practice karta hu, ye karta hu, karta hu, luck nahi hai mere paas. Said, no, don't, don't say that. You are good. Luck nahi hai is not the correct way of looking at things. So, no, kya karu, sir? You are taken up to drinking also. Kyunki luck nahi hai. Thik hai, luck nahi hai. So I said, okay, next day was the match and I said, uh, the team is coming at around 9.30. So you come about 15 minutes before that, before the team arrives. Call time for the team was 9.30. So I said, you come at 9.15, we will have a 15 minute, 15 minute small session and then you can join the team. He didn't turn up because he said, no, no, luck no. What do you do? Sir, you say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Luck nahi apne paas, kya karo jake? Thik hai. Came at 9.30, 9.35. So, kyo, let kyo hai? Kora nahi hai, sir. Sir, kya bolna tumko? Itna mene kiya hai, sir. Abhi kya bolne ka isme? I don't believe in what all, uh, all things you are saying. Mein abhi ho guru ke paas bhi jata ho, idhar bhi jata ho, udhar bhi jata ho, mandir mein jata ho. There is no luck. So, yeah, thik hai. Chalo abhi mere saath. Ek room mein baithte. 10 minute ka session karte. And I did a session with him based on NLP. And I said, okay. Sit in front of me. Close your eyes. Relax. Okay. So we open your hand. Samne rakho apne. And I said, yellow, luck. Tumko de diya. हाथ में ऐसा लग दिया उसको बन किया गो अभी लक तुमको दिया है बाकी सब तुमने किया है ना विद दिस लक यू कैन सक्सीड वेंट कुछ नॉट बिलीविंग मी नथिंग विल हैपन बिकॉज़ इतना सब किया है भगवान के पास गया है सब जगह गया है लेकिन लक नहीं है ना आई सेड गया ग्राउंड में फर्स्ट स्टार ही डिडंट गेट द बॉल ही वाज अ स्पिनर after one hour, he was given the first over. In first over, he got a wicket. So, looks at Asman. Sab naach kiya ho. Next over, got another wicket. Looks at Asman. Third over, third wicket. Came in for lunch. I said, kya, what happened? 
नहीं नहीं सर एक्चुअली वॉट हैपन इज थ्रू एन एल पी यू यू प्रोड्यूस यू प्रोड्यूस यू गिव अ टारगेट टू हिज आर एस लक मिल गया अ प्रोड्यूस रिजल्ट दैट इज वॉट आई नीडेड टू डू एक्चुअली टू टेल हिम हा ये लक दे दिया तुमको बाकी सब तुमने किया है ना लक दे दिया चलो कम ऑन गो एंड प्रोड्यूस द रिजल्ट His RAS started acting, putting his mental resources into action to produce results. He had lost uh, hopes of playing higher level of cricket. So every time now he was getting wickets. So next two three matches ke baad maine usko pucha. So what do you think now? Ha sir, lekin kya fayda hai? Bolo na. मतलब आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गो बियॉन्ड दिस क्यों नहीं 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 सर अरे टेस्ट खेल सिल सकता है तू यू हैव गुड क्वालिटीज एज अ बोलर नहीं नहीं सर नॉट पॉसिबल सर क्यों नहीं 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 अनिल कुंबले बैठा है ना जब तक मैं क्या खेलेगा अरे यू आर राइट अनिल कुंबले तो इज वेरी गुड एंड नो आई कॉन्ट से अनिल कुंबले को निकाल के तुमको खिलवाऊंगा मैं बट ऐसे डोंट लूज होप्स कीप ट्राइंग आई गिव यू लक वन सेकेंड ही कीप ट्राइंग वॉट हैपन डिट्स इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सीजन इन टूर्नामेंट सी गॉट सो मेनी विकेट सी गॉट सिलेक्टेड वन सेकेंड फॉर मुंबई टीम प्लेट फॉर मुंबई गॉट विकेट अगेन एंड सो हैपन that anil kumble got injured in a series against sri lanka and couldn't play that uh, the three tests and it so happened that this bowler was called to play for india he played two tests for india there also once again i think he thought negatively about himself that is why he couldn't perform but kyunki wo luck nahi na अभी इंडिया खेलने के बाद भी बोलेगा अगर लक नहीं है तो क्या बोलेगा वॉट हैपन इज इवन इन द टेस्ट मैच वेन यू वॉज गिवन अ बॉल द वेरी फर्स्ट ओवर ही वॉज टू गेट अ विकेट एंड समीर दिगे मिस स्टम्पिंग नहीं तो विकेट श्योर था फर्स्ट ओवर में मतलब लक फैक्टर है ना इट वर्क इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट वे विथ योर ब्रेन You have to put your brain in a state where it will accept things. It will lead you to a particular situation, success, situation of success. You can't expect things to come to you. You have to put your brain in a state where you will take yourself to a point of success. That is why I am talking about neuro linguistic. programming program yourself by using your neurology and your way of communication to produce results pravin amre the famous cricketer he was not scoring runs in a season and he was dropped from the team once again the same thing happened he didn't know what to do with his career now since he was not being selected in the ranji trophy team he had no chance of going higher up so i am a we are personal friends like so he said are shekar aisa aisa hai ka runs is hote nahi hai maza and i knew that he used to toil a lot luck nahi was the situation but he was not scoring runs so i had, i said chal pravin if you don't mind do a two three sessions with me and let us see whether you can produce some results he was willing to do things said chal chalta hai why not try this i have so many so many things i try this as well so again he came for the sessions in 3 4 sessions 
he did very um, like dedicated approach he had to whatever he learned in those sessions and he practiced all those exercises very correctly and dedicatedly and he produced runs that season and he was the highest run getter in india in ranji trophy that season that is how he he in fact thought of taking me to air india to train their team because he could see the results himself he could experience them he could feel them there was a, the uh, uh, water polo player from hr college and he was pretty renowned at college level he was pretty renowned university also he was selected so many times and suddenly it so happened that there was a dip in his career he used to sit at the shivaji park no lonely type not talking to anyone <laughs> i used to know him so i said what happened why are so sitting quietly not talking to anybody what is it then nahi abhi career khatam ho raha hai mera said why nahi goals se sodna hai so what is it what what stopping you from scoring them he said uh, i don't know somehow my hand is not lifting as much as it used to when i used to score goals i used to lift my hand now it's not lifting so much somehow i am not able to score things so we did a few sessions and that season he became the captain of university team once again producing results i have trained so many ranji trophy players from all over india in producing results in their matches i have trained athletes i have trained people with uh, of course dramatics and nlp has been like a like a you can call it miracle sometimes so the saying uh, calling something as a miracle i don't believe in but even then some results have been so good and so fantastic that you really start feeling that it's a miracle uh, apart from visual auditory and we we have the rest of the three factors type visual auditory kin i'll write it down you can take it kinesthetic is feelings hmm all factor is smell and this is taste kinesthetic can also be touch that is skin person is always combination of this all things but he has a list of priorities he is a combination always of this but somebody may be rating his feeling as the first thing and then is the visuals and then the auditory that means whatever words are said and then these but somebody may be of a different uh, using a different priority of senses like somebody may be pre- uh, rating this as number 1 this as number 3 and this as number 2 it's always a combination nobody is purely visual and purely auditory and no, no but it's a question of giving a priority to your choice of 
sense. That's it. A uh, series of things happens which makes you think about a person wrongly. But then the person tries rectifying those things. But still because of the incidents you think bad about that person. Mm. So how is it possible for us to get a state of mind to think that the person can, is improving or is making an effort. Mm. So that we also try getting that person in the right thought pr yeah, perspective mm. of us. Mm. And the second question. Yeah, yeah. And the second question is, as you say, I may be thinking about a thing in a visual manner and the other person may be thinking about it in an auditory manner. So this creates mismatch and then miscommunication yeah. and yeah. arguments. Yeah. So how is it possible that if the other person is not able to think about it in the right manner, mm. to bring us in the in their level and make the things proper? Mm. So okay. There is nothing right and wrong about it. No, but no. How there is nothing right and nothing wrong about it. See, a person always has a particular way of looking at things. He may has his, his priority list. And you may have a different priority list of your senses. So what you have to do is, you have to match with his uh, list of priorities. Mold yourself into a situation where you can point out, point out to the, the things to him through his priority list. And about the bad memories and all, they can be easily dealt with through NLP. There are so many exercises whereby in phobias and fears and all can be easily dealt with through NLP. Because NLP uses all these basic things, visual, auditory and kinesthetic. Fear is what? A feeling. How do you overcome that feeling? By changing the visuals. A visual, has particular, uh, a visual has produced a particular feeling inside you. So change that visual. So the feeling changes. So phobia can be removed in a jiffy. Like that. I knew of a girl who used to be very afraid of dogs. And I didn't know actually that she was afraid of dogs. One day I was sitting on a uh, with a friend of mine and that was his daughter so she came to meet him and as we were talking there came a dog and he started shivering like this <laughs> like this she was doing said, what happened so much and you have not done anything about it and that to a girl uh, about 23 24 years old Hey, what the hell here? Tum kuch kiya nahi iska? So I said, no. So I said, you send her to me and we'll deal with it. Ek session kiya. And I made her change that visual. She had a particular fear of dogs because of a particular incident that had happened to her about 15 years back. Now, I am not interested in how it happened and what was the dog and wh where, why it happened and all. No. NLP ask, doesn't ask you uh, the, all those questions. NLP says, tell me what works. If it can produce results, that is useful. So, I made her change that visual. When she had seen that dog and it had uh, growled at her. You know, and she started fearing the dogs from that day onwards. So I made her change that. Merely by, by making the, the film go into reverse. I made her look at that particular incident going into reverse. 10 times, 15 times. And then I said, chalo, abhi kutte ke paas chalo. She is not afraid. You have to be afraid of certain things in life. But such phobias and fears, you can remove them through NLP. There are very obvious human failings, like procrastination. All of us are affected by that. And can that be changed and yeah, how long it takes? Certainly it can be changed. 
because you are produ you are providing certain particular visuals to yourself change those visuals you are you are giving particular auditory instructions to yourself apna andar ka awaz bolta hai nahi yaar kar lo baad mein that is procrastination what else is it isn't it yeah so what i am trying to tell you is use the sub modalities of it like how loud is the voice that tells you kar lenge baad mein what is the tone how uh, from where does it come you know mentally you have placed it somewhere and that voice is telling you normally it's on the left side no doubt it is called audio digital place so normally आवाज वहां से बोलती है अरे कर लेंगे बाद में सो हाउ लाउड इज इट सो इफ इट इज वेरी लाउड जस्ट रिड्यूस द वॉल्यूम मेंटल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर हैपनिंग हैज टू बी चेंज दैट्स इट दैट इज व्हाट आई एम सेइंग द सब मॉडलिटीज आर the visual has sub modalities it is bright and colorful and this and that these are all sub modalities it may be dull it may be dark it may be not clear like this opaque or whatever similarly in touch there may be sub modalities that the touch is rough and uh, what not so so many modalities you have to understand and change them into positive modalities whatever you feel positive touch has to be smooth and silky okay so make it a smooth and silky touch mentally once you make it your mind is willing to accept it it's like uh, i don't like uh, mari biscuits yaar i like some uh, dark night biscuits okay so mentally you change it you are not eating mari you are eating dark night accept the instruction immediately that is what the mind that is how the mind works that is why i said you you have your own particular mode of you know priorities so accordingly you have to place every information in that list of priorities so that you accept it as long as it is not in that list of priorities you don't accept it you say nay galat hai That is said. Initially, if there is no visual, and you said, "Hey, well dressed, I am," but if there is knowledge, it is not. So next time, change your modality and say, "No, well dressed, I am." So change your modality. So next time, change your modality and say, "No, well dressed, I am." So next time, change your modality and say, "No, well dressed, I am." So next time, change your modality and say, "No, well dressed, I am." So next time, change your modality and say, "No, well dressed, I am." So next time, change your modality and say, "No, well dressed, I am." So next time, change your modality and say, "No, well dressed, I am." So next time, change your modality and say, "No, well dressed, I am." So next time, i wanted to ask you shared some of your own uh, experiences examples of how you improved upon people uh, i wanted to know if there are any uh, worldwide case studies which all of the nlp practitioners really look up to or share some really dramatic examples national international you have any such stories which we can no i mean i, mean, I have not uh, dealt with it personally but i know of an uh, of a an incident which was internationally famous i shouldn't <laughs> i mean actually we know about the incident with bill clinton where he had uh, had sex with his uh, intern monica lewinsky and then he was impeached now he was facing a situation where he was the president of america and he had to convince the nation that he had not done it so how does he do it so he needed training nlp training to produce a particular result what result that people will believe that he has not done it 
he hired an inter internationally known trainer mr anthony robbins he trained him before the impeachment as to how he will sit in the chair how he will speak where he will look while speaking a sentence how he will glance at people how he will do everything how what gestures it, he will use and everything he was trained like he had rehearsed the whole thing and it's a famous example given by so many nlp trainers that though the entire of usa of knew that bill clinton had done it yet on television he said he did not do it and people took it accepted it that means you can produce a particular result though i am not giving a very good example of it but <laughs> but if you want to produce a result then you may use these techniques and uh, and produce a particular result that you want sir can i put one question to you yeah since you are in the acting field also actors generally have to sort of play the role that is given to them where as an individual they may be something different so how far does nlp or they are good at an sort of mastering and nlp themselves or they also need some training no uh, nobody is good at nlp because one has to learn it i have learned it that is why i'm i practice it even in theater others don't so uh, nlp teaches you to uh, means hide the truth as bill clinton did no no and no. <laughs> that's why i said <laughs> no. the example don't take it <laughs> yeah. that way so uh, suppose if i am i am an uh, introvert person and uh, other person wants to be wants me to be an extrovert so nlp teaches me to how to be an extrovert for yes yes for that person yes so it changes my personality for that moment is it yes then? yes yes my question is related to money only since we are in money life office how nlp will help me uh, to really become wealthy will it will help me yeah by pro providing a particular picture to yourself okay thank you you may not be providing that picture to yourself you may be thinking of toiling and all that but not the result end result choose it thank you sir is there any correlation of nlp versus uh, meditation yeah meditative practices are quite close to nlp okay but not exactly nlp in nlp in nlp you have a very light trance as i said and you instruct yourself in meditation you don't instruct yourself you become passive correct so which one is better no meditation has different aim mm. nlp has a different aim but you try to get the strength within if you yeah. do meditation yeah but but in in meditation you tell yourself that you are going to get a strength okay but my belief is uh, i mean as far as this lecture is concerned i thought that nlp is to change uh, yourself uh, uh, in respect to the other person no and not necessarily no, but i but just wanted to maintain my individuality yeah, instead of getting changed with yeah, every person yeah you can do that in a situation where you cannot you where where you are in incommunicado with the other person there you may want to change yourself so that the communication starts that is i think suppose if i want to attain some result yeah want some performance then i need to change as far as nlp is concerned that is what i understood till uh, this lecture lecture but if i am i am doing meditation on a regular basis and i am creating my own individuality and i think that there is no need to change if you are uh, within right your fundamentals are good people will get changed accordingly that is what i believing yeah so you believe in that it's okay i just want to know whether i am right no or no wrong. see everybody has his own beliefs i am not trying to tell you you have to have a particular belief and not to have a particular belief mm. it's your choice what you believe but there may be situations where you have to perhaps change your belief for a particular reason okay. in that case what do you do that is what nlp will tell you i am not saying that you cannot have a belief mm. i cannot say that okay. you may have a particular belief there is nothing wrong in that 
But in a situation where you want, you find that you have to change your belief to produce a particular result, in that case, the NLP gives you a tool to change that belief. That's it. Okay, thank you, sir. Well, sir, I've been listening very attentively from outside, but the uh, question is that, uh, from what you're saying, it sounds like a problem-solution approach. It's like a therapy. Uh, it is a therapy. You sure, know. sure. Uh, all I'm saying is that, you know, is the, is the objective of the therapy or the result of the therapy temporary or momentary, you know, as against a longer-term solution? You know, some, some treatments or some therapies have a long-term solution. Meditation, for example, has a long-term effect. So, from what you're saying and from the examples that you've given, uh, it seems to me that this is momentary or specific to a particular problem. It helps you overcome that problem and that's it. No, 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 that's so, not the thing. Okay. Every time, you see, it make, basically makes you change yourself into a person who would try to strive to go to excellence. So, you will be producing results which are permanent. Once you, once you change your mental pictures of a particular thing, you don't every time have to change it. So, does it require a re repetitive practice? That's what my question For was. some days, yeah. Oh, I see, okay. For some so. days. Because for the simple reason that your brain needs uh, enough amount of instruction. That is it. Like you, as I said, there is a uh, reticular activating system which needs enough amount of instruction. That's all. And for that uh, RAS to get activated, perhaps you have to give your instructions at least five days. Oh, well, that's it. Like that. Repeatedly. When I, whenever we teach exercises, we tell them, that abhi ye exercise to 25 bar karo, ek ke piche ek. But the, the time taken for that exercise, the mental exercise, is hardly 30 seconds. So, 25 bar means what? 12 minutes. Isn't it? So the time taken is very small. But it produces permanent results. For a simple reason that you are using your own neurology to lead you into a situation where you want to reach a particular point. And sir, just now you said that uh, every person has his own barriers to, and that needs to be overcome. So NLP program, if somebody is underway, it cannot be on mask. It has to be on one-on-one -on -one basis. No. The tools can be taught and they can be applied to a person according to his, uh, his way of looking at things. Okay, but in order to understand the barriers, what a person, suppose I am a person, I want to understand my own limitations. Yeah. Some of the limitations, I might be knowing it. But that needs to be confirmed by the trainer and then the correct technique can be applied. Yeah. This has to be done on one month. Yeah, but in the course when I teach, I teach, I teach you how to do it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. How you will go about it. Okay. When I conduct the course, I will teach you how to go about changing yourself. What tools, how to use them and produce results. Okay. So that every time you don't have to come to me. Otherwise, there is no, no point in holding a course, isn't it? I will teach you the techniques and how you will apply them to yourself and to your family and to the situations around you. That's it. Okay. And sir, generally, how long is the duration of this? Uh, uh, one full day. Yeah. Uh, NLP practice and a meditation practice can go hand in hand or do we need to... Uh, no, no, they can go hand in hand. They can go hand in hand. Okay. Now I'll put you in a trance, a light trance. Come on. Close your eyes. Feet flat on the ground. Close your eyes. Roll your eyeballs upwards. Hands on your thighs. Baggage sabrak do baju mein. Roll your eyeballs upwards. Take three deep breaths. And relax. 
think of relaxing every single muscle in your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes all the way in every way just relax relax all the muscles in your forehead all the muscles around your eyes feel them becoming heavy 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 and relax relax all your facial muscles and the muscles of your jaw especially your jaw because this is the area where the tension gathers so be sure and relax your jaw and make this relaxation move down to the back of your neck the shoulders to your back your lower back shoulders arms elbows wrists palms and your fingers relax all your chest muscles abdomen muscles lower abdomen thighs knees half muscles ankles right to the tips of your toes every single muscle in your body is totally and completely relaxed as if you are covered by covered by a blanket of relaxation going deeper and deeper into relaxation just relax now that your body is relaxed your mind is alert i'm going to give you a positive instruction which you will follow keep relaxing now see yourself in front of you see your face in front of you very relaxed and slowly it becoming full of light it is becoming bright it is slowly becoming full of light your own face see it changing and becoming full of light bright shining light you can feel that your face has become bright you can feel it you can feel that light on your face good retain that light with you retain that light with you on your face and put it around in your body as well your body has become full of light bright shining light just retain this light with you 
enjoy it enjoy having the light inside you on your face in your bodies enjoy it your faces have become bright shining lights enjoy them now i'm going to count from 10 to 1 backwards with the count of every single number you will slowly come out of this trance but you will retain the light that you have with you now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 slowly coming out retain this light bright light that you have on your faces and inside you 9 slowly coming out 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 just retain this light but slowly come out of this trance retain this light on your face in your body 7 6 slowly coming out of the trance five just retain this light with you even after you come out of the trance because this light you will carry with yourself four three slowly coming out of the trance at the count of number 1 you will open your eyes feeling refreshed revitalized and feeling completely charged and you will retain the light on your face and inside you three on the count of next number you will open your eyes feeling refreshed revitalized and recharged and you retain the light inside you and on your face 1 open your eyes 2 how many of you could visualize quite a few good how was it the experience great ha and like me this full see everybody has a different personality that is why she is talking about peaceful and she is a soft spoken girl so she must be the kinesthetic type that is kinesthetic is her first priority next she may be visual because she seems to be a little well dressed <laughs> different people express themselves in different words isn't it when i said how was the experience each of them reflected chose a different word according to their choice of the sense the dominant sense somebody who is visual said enlightened yeah as i said the neurology produces a particular posture 
so hand movements produce a particular posture subconscious communication is happening all the time when i do this in front of people what i am trying to suggest subconsciously is whatever i may be saying in my words but i would be saying please exchange please come on take this take this take this take this take this take this that is what my hands are saying isn't it i may be talking gibberish in my words but this is what my hands are saying come on take it take it take it take it take it, take it. so gestures of your hands are a subconscious way of communicating that is why many times many speakers have you know like uh, suppose you want to catch attention of people and there is no way of uh, catching the attention except what you are going to or what posture you are going to use or what gesture you are going to do so what i will do is the moment i do this it it says subconsciously what look at my face man come on <laughs> look at my face why are you looking somewhere else look at me 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 that is the subconscious communication i may be talking something else but but unknowingly i am doing this that means subconsciously i am saying please pay attention to me i am the person who is important not all other things pay attention to me so this this way the hand gestures you know subconsciously communicate your thoughts and which other person person so which modality is more important i mean no. the visual or audio no no that is... depends on the other person initially you may start uh, with a visual uh, something but if you find that person is not uh, impressed by it you may choose change your modality you may change your modality and go into auditory start speaking slowly but insistently you know in a rhythmic manner so that he listens to your words but some people are always uh, very i mean expert in convincing or speaking better yeah that is because they use all those together that is the speaker okay thank you thank you very much shekhar we had a wonderful session let's give him a big hand thank you and wait for us to announce the training program over the last few days since so many people have been telling us that they want to know more about it i think what he says is that nlp is not about an introductory talk it is about a technique that has to be learnt we then decided that we will conduct a few courses but those seminars will be they will be training programs there will be proper courses they will have a fee there will be full day sessions they are not going to be free money life seminars because it is a learning technique we are only hoping that we will be able to do it like everything else that we do at lower than the rates that are charged outside in the market thank you